Okay, so a couple of days ago, I released my MetaHuman Cyberpunk short film that I created in Unreal Engine 5.1 using RTX DI. So in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about what RTX DI is kind of briefly. And if you haven't done so, go check out the Cyberpunk short film I made. Check it out in the link in the description below before watching this. But basically what RTX DI lets you do is have a lot more dynamic shadow casting lights in your scene. Now that is extremely useful, especially for a cyberpunk theme game or cinematics. So right now I have, I think, over 200 point lights in the scene right now being illuminated. All of them are self shadow casting. And we have RTX DI off and we're running about 29.2 frames per second using the RTX 4090. Now, if I go ahead and turn on RTX DI, you're gonna see that we're gonna have like 120 frames per second, which is pretty crazy. Now, this is pretty extreme scenario here. This is a super extreme scenario. Uh, additionally, with this system, so you can see on the top left, you can actually denoise it if you want to. Every single one of these lights in this scene right now are all unique hero lights. These are all shadow casting lights. And this is without DLSS, okay? So whenever I created that short film Cyberpunk, I didn't really have to worry about creating too many movable lights, even though it is overkill. To be honest, using this in a short film is potentially overkill, but honestly, it helped me a lot tremendously, especially with frames per second when I'm in the editor because I don't have to worry about, you know, movable lights. They, they get really expensive, especially when they start overlapping each other. Now, I said this is game changer because... Honestly, if you think about it, uh, the new Cyberpunk 2077 game is now being developed in Unreal Engine 5.1. I don't know if they're going to be using RTX DI, but imagine that video game with a lot more dynamic lights in it. And like I said earlier, the new Cyberpunk Ray Tracing Overdrive mode is going to be using this technology here. So again, I cannot wait to, to freaking get my hands on that because the difference between a static light that's not casting shadows and dynamic light that is casting shadows is quite a bit it's actually it makes a lot of difference especially for animation um another game that could have potentially used this technology was callisto protocol when i was playing that game you can really tell that there's still some big lighting in the interior scenes that they had so again if they had this technology when making that game that would have been insane um but Again, this is pretty new technology from NVIDIA, the RTX DI. Um, you can also use their uh, sharpener right here if you want to. Uh, without the denoiser, it is a little bit noisier. But like I said, this is pretty, pretty extreme scenario here. Uh, and if I turn it off, again, you'll see that it works, but your frame rate kind of just drops a lot. And you can actually see it right here, like 33 point something, almost 34 MS for the GPU. And by turning this on, it just drops. Um, this is actually animatable as well. So if I go on and press stop, I can go check on his BP lights. I can click on this. And if I press play, these are all animated lights. So if I go to turn it off, you're going to see that we are really starting to slow down there. It's just amazing, man. It, it is amazing. And again, I'm going to be, I'm actually going to be using this branch from here on out just so that I have access to this. And one of the cool things about this is I don't have to wait for a video game to come out with this technology. I can just download this and start using it. And that is the coolest thing about this being available to all of us because I don't have to wait for the Cyberpunk RT Overdrive to come out to see this technology. I can just go ahead and make a short film with it and see it myself and use it. And that freedom that is given to all of us is honestly just mind-blowing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below if y'all have any questions. Again, big thanks to Richard for answering all of my questions when I was making that movie, you know, over the holiday break. I asked a lot, but my goodness, this technology right here is truly a game changer. I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to go viral whenever people start realizing what this thing can do.